So day one of trying out the Augi CLI by Augment Code. Um, I wanted to see if we could do some kind of like sub-agent orchestration through Augi. So, so what I did was I gave it this prompt to call itself and spawn like sub-agents in Git work trees. So I said, use Git work trees to spawn three separate workspaces of this repository. And for each of them, run this command. This command runs Augi in non-interactive mode with the instruction make a mermaid diagram for the components in this repository and how they interact. So pretty much like a system diagram to show how the like front end components interact. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this works. It was a bit of an experiment, but I think just with this simple prompt, we can have sub agent functionality without having like a dedicated feature for sub agents. So yeah, I kicked it off and it was able to do the three separate commands, git add work tree in three separate branches. So we have three separate uh, directories that these sub agents can work in without conflicting with the main directory files. And you can see all the processes running here. We have three processes still running and these are the actual sub agents of Augi CLI. I'm running them with Node on a pre-built binary, but in the future release, it'll just be a global command. And then yeah, it's gonna wait for these three processes to finish outputting. They're eventually completed and the main agent which I've launched is reading the outputs of each of the sub agents and going to combine all of the new mermaid diagrams into the main uh, workspace that we were working in, not the sub work tree. And I've also told it to commit these three diagrams so we can render them and have a look. Um, I have a bet just because these LLMs are non-deterministic, every time you run a prompt, you'll probably get a different result. So asking for three separate diagrams gives us more of a chance that the result will be something we like and we can just discard the results we don't like. So let's have a look at the results. Okay, so um, GitHub has its own mermaid renderer. You can see here we have the three different diagrams, although the render isn't very nice. You can't like um, move around and pan it. Um, but you get an idea. What you can also do is I took the raw mermaid code from here and you put it in another renderer. So here I'm using um, a Razor IO. They have a free mermaid diagram maker here. I just pasted the code here and you can see a bit of a nicer um, interface here. And yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, gives you as a human this eraser IO one is really nice, but even just the code of the diagram can be very useful for um, LLMs as well to get a better understanding of the flow and dependency graph of your architecture without you know having to do many different calls to like kind of get that understanding this kind of like gives you the flow of like what leaves what leads to what in probably less tokens and less time just one cool example I thought of for using Augie but let me know in the comments what else you want me to try and we can do that too